Hey guys, this is Luigi Rock 132, and today, for Triforce Tuesdays, we are playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This is the first part of the game. This game came out on May 12th, 2023, and is the sequel to the critically acclaimed game, The Legend of Zelda Quest of the Wild. And here, I'm in a cave with Zelda, which we're going through this very dark and gloomy cave. The Chinese Hyrule Castle, as you can see, I have a Master Sword and all that. So, we continue going. And then there's some, looks like, luminous blue energy. Drifting into the castle. We have to keep going. Let's see it coming to, up in the Tyro Castle. We don't know what way to pull so we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you. Let's go solve this mystery. And Zelda is right. Let's go solve this mystery then. So let's go down in this dark, luminous cave, which is uh, very spooky. So you gotta keep on moving. And this, and the graphics in this game look beautiful. Wait. The Master Sword. It must be said to something. I knew we had reason for concern. Ever since the, age, the end of the calamity, the castle had fallen into neglect. But I never knew, I never could have imagined anything like these tunnels were hiding. We must be careful as we move deeper. So let's continue going in this dark, spooky castle, kind of gives me like, like the whole, like the whole castle vibe, kind of gives me like, high castle, like, zone ruins, wait, look here, and warning, there are spoilers, so, you'll be warned, these are ruins from the ancient civilization, wait, something is written here, might these ruins be from the zone? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, look at this. <gasps> These carvings. I'm sure there are Zonai with origin. I've seen their design like this in my studies. The Zonai is said to look long ago in the time of the earliest legend. They possessed godlike powers, and they had a prosperous civilization in the sky. Many history books tell us about the Zonai, which none gives a simple picture. Much is still unknown about them. So we continue going. Those statues there. Is this what the Zonai looked like? They seem so different than us, and such large ears had their roots or civilization and sky end up here in beneath the castle. It looks like the pass ahead goes even deeper. Let's continue, Link. So, indeed, let's continue. So, we... This is actually from the trailer. We defeat the chief. You're not hurt, are you, Link? No, I'm fine. Man, the graphics in this game look amazing. Major improvement from Breath of the Wild. Look at these murals. They're written histories of the royal family. 
include studies of a great war fought long ago. There's a conflict between the allied tribes and someone who is always referred as to the demon king, known as Ganondorf. Is it possible? Do you think these mur murals depict the same legend? This is similar to the statues we saw earlier, a Zonai. And these the figures look like Hylians. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. Enough with the cutscenes. Now let's keep on going through this this dark, gloomy temple with my master sword in hand. So let's keep on going through this dark temple. So we gotta keep on going through this dark maze-like labyrinth. And it gets deeper and deeper every time. With this red energy, which is the same in this this cutscene is reminiscent from the Breath of the Wild 2 trailer. From the original Breath of the Wild 2 trailer shown at E3. It's continuing, but we must be extremely careful. So let's go through the ruins. What is that? Exactly, what is that? Is that Gandorf? Creepy. Is that, what is that? Well, that's actually, oh, that's the tear. That's the tears of the kingdom. That's the little tear that they have. Okay, that's all we do. Whoa! And then my sword is um actually possessed by the gloom, and now it's exactly torn apart. Yep, the master sword is broken. The shower so easy because my power cannot save you, my power. Cannot save you from me. Sword is darkness. So, who plays the bright dress? So, Raru placed his face in the basin. And that was, was all that you all could you do. do? How do you know her names? What is happening? And Hyrule Castle is, spoiler alert, floating up in the air. Jumping in a pit, trying to save Zelda. 
And then we get a cool new arm thingy. And then we got saved by a new arm thingy. So now we go up. And now we descend into the, the clouds. And Ganondorf takes the siege of Hyrule. And there's tons of meteors falling from the sky. Which could reference Skyward Sword, in a way. So now let's flash forward. And now, this is where we go into the sky. And there's these strange little green particles. Kind of gives me plot princess vibes. So then we load again. And now, now we are in our undies. And we, and now here's the Master Sword. And it's broken. We got the Decayed Master Sword. A, a miniature version of the Master Sword that does Master Sword stuff. Like, you know, attack, etc, etc. So we cut these vines over here. And now we see a little Zonai pedestal. We want to activate that. And if we do that, that would allow us to proceed within this temple and have a marker of this temple. And this gear is moving. So maybe this could be like a thing to solve this puzzle. But before we proceed, there are some chests over here that you want to get. You want to jump up here and climb up here. Well, it didn't work. So now let's continue going. And go through this temple. And our Zonai thing, we can just jump and go, yay! There we go, then we swim over here, then we keep on running over here, we climb up here, and it looks a lot different than Breath of the Wilds, where it's just a shrine, this one's a, just a full-on level, which I absolutely love about this game. So now, we go into this giant body of water and go yeet, and now there's a chest, you want to get that chest. Because inside that chest, we we'll have, we'll have archaic leatherware. And now there's one for the clothes, like, shirt as well. And this is really hard to find. But you gotta really look to find it. So, this is read. Find some stamina. Go up here. And then, there is some over here. It's actually somewhere located over here. I don't know where it is. So we're just going to keep on moving. So now, here it is. The Wondrous Sky Islands. Look how gorgeous these clouds look. They look amazing. So let's jump into Link's newest adventure. So this is where the title screen starts. And that music though slaps. Just saying, Green Team. And we are currently at 270 subscribers. Please make sure to like and subscribe for more Zelda content like this. And now let's continue our epic adventure. The 
Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Talk about villain. Stop, talk about starting the game off with a bang. The Great Sky Islands. Wow, look at these trees. This, so now we are on the Great Sky Island, and now we have our shape web there. So now we're able to, to, we need to go to first the Temple of Time after defeating this construct and avoiding its stick. And my Master Sword has run out of energy, so we need another weapon to survive. And just avoid the construct, they are they're not good, so just avoid them. Use this tree branch for now. So now, we got another tree branch. And now we got a Soldier Construct Horn, Zodai Charge, and nothing else. Alright, so now let's continue going, and here you'll meet this construct, who should give you something cool. Wake up, waiting for you. Princess Zelda has left something for you in my care. Here is where we get the Pura Pack. And a basically a 2.0 version of the Breath of the Wild Sheikah Slate. Which you would use it. Oh go. Pura Pad, Princess Zelda's prize device. It has a variety of features that are essential for adventure. Where am I? We stand in the Garden of Time. The Temple of Time, it was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. But no more, it was a lonely place. No one else visits. Well, except for me. Because we're going there. So now, let's um, get this Shiko or Zonai room, or whatever it is. And now, there should be a bridge for us. That will allow us to cross this otherwise unaccessible gap. So let's keep on going. And ooh, and a chest. Well, there's actually no chest here. But there is a Zonai, a steward construct. And this construct will teach you the, the swing, basically the lock on attack. Now there's an earth day where you go yeets and go straight to the water and go boom. Now let's head straight to the Temple of Time and meet Rauru the Sage, a familiar face from the Legend of Zelda offering of time. And this is my first walkthrough of Tears of the Kingdom, so I may be a little bit rusty, but trust me, guys. So, let's keep on going through this orange grass. And keep on going. And run through here. What? Is that like a bird thing? Or we just avoid that? So, then we get a sky shroom, which is, we can get that. There's your first consumable. 
so it's head to the tenth of time, which is now in the sky. And oh yeah, there's a monster over here. We do need to defeat and get that um, the wooden stick. You can fuse it with many things in this game to get like a lot of like cool weapons. So, so is this aside? Let's keep on going to go to the Temple of Time. An iconic location in the Zelda series. So let's keep on swimming over there. And then run over here. And go up here. Like, boom. And then we go over here and climb up here. Like, boom and boom. And then we reach a construct which you need to defeat first in order to to, to get past the type of time. And now it will give you an opening to attack and you'll get an old wooden shield, my first shield in the game, and a rusty road sword. And you can use this to select your weapon that way if you haven't heard. So now that I have a proper sword and shield Let's go ahead and meet Raru the Sage in the Temple of Time. So we go over here, and it won't let us in because, well, it's closed. It won't let us in. So you open the adventure lock by doing that, and then keep on going in there and it won't let you in and Rory the sage tells you why this door will only open to those with sufficient power why not try visiting the shrines of the island I am sure of the key so let's visit the shrine on the islands so let's head over here and visit some of the shrines and there's a one, there's a shrine over there, so we can just head over there. And be careful, okay, if you fall down, okay. So luckily I didn't fall down. Let's go, green team, let's go. So now let's continue this beautiful landscape. And there's a construct over there. And it has a bow. Which you can easily defeat with this rusty road sword. Adios construct. And now I got an old wooden bow so now this will allow me to dispense arrows and fire them at will so now we continue going through here here are some arrows and now we keep on going up here and uh oh there's a construct over here boom now we get this wooden stick and now there's a little place where you can access the shrine so you gotta swim over here just keep swimming. Now keep on going up here, and you'll see that it's um, you can't go over there. But you can climb up here in order to get some rush rooms and climb up here. Double bonus. Let's go, green team. So now we continue doing the same thing that we did before. Now we will reach the Opal Shrine, and now we use this thing, the Zonite thing. And then we have a, a teleportation pad or whatever. So now we go into this mysterious place. And that's what we're doing. Then we go in. And we load in. Yeah, the shrines for Breath of the Wild are... Ooh, this shrine looks really cool. Tears of the Kingdom Shrines look a lot more cooler than Breath of the Wilds. So, you made it here. This is the Shrine of Light. Long ago, I filled these places with light. It purged you see. I believe this light will restore the purity when your right arm has lost. Now then, extend your hand. So, I extend my hand? <laughs> So now, we get a new ability. 
This ability is known as... It is known as... Ultra Hand. The first ability in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And the Ultra Hand will allow you, it's kind of like Magnesis, where you can simply, but instead of that, you can fuse them together. Like so. And then we do that. And then for here, we actually have to do the same, like for these guys. So then, we have to fuse it, use the vertical rotation, like so. Boom. Or, you can use the new feature, Attach. You can attach anything onto a fused Ultra Hand. So this will allow you to fuse the Ultra Hand things, or to fuse them together, and then it will work out amazing for you. And bada bing bada boom, you can access this place. And uh oh, there is a construct nearby here. So beware of the construct. And now here is a little bit tricky. So now you gotta do this. And then you gotta find this, which allows you to, to go on it. And then... And then you gotta almost like do this. And then you gotta attach this to this. Now I think this will allow you to get up here. And this will not allow you to do that. So now, you just gotta use, um, gotta use the thing to get up there. There is something you can use to get up here. Which you, I know you have to do this. You have to use this. And make sure you have to. Be careful, because you have to do this one try. You have to do this on the first try. Come on, get up there. Okay. You have to use this to get up here. Eventually get up here. So, you have to go here, then, then safely get up here, and then you'll He's sliding down here. Whee! Let's go, green team. We got the first shrine orb. Or, they're not shrine orbs anymore. They're actually called the lights of... The orb of light of blessing. That's what they're called in Tears of the Kingdom. You have done well to reach this place. We offer the sights that will clean us here of you. Now, here's the first orb we get in the Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Ooh, strange orb. Hmm. What's this? It does something to my hand. And now it allows it... It actually is a collectible. The Lights of Blessing. So now... Once you got that, you have to then, it's kind of like the, the monks, where you had to get like the, the shrine orbs in the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and it's a lot different in this game. So now, you end up right back where you were, and now let's go find the missing three. And we will do that in another video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. You've done very well getting through that shrine. You restored your ability. This is wonderful. As you visit and complete two more shrines, you'll be able to open the temple time. This is the prince. You have a very useful scope. Comes in handy. So, scope and pins, basically. So, that is it, Green King. Please make sure to like and subscribe to Luigi Rocks 132. 
to check out all of my Mario, Zelda, and Sonic, and Fortnite videos. And we'll do Triforce Tuesdays, well, on Tuesdays, every week. This is Luigi Rocks 132, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!